Good morning, Ritz Hotel. Hello, reservations, please. Good morning, reception. How may I help you? Hello, we're looking to accommodate David Bowie, actually, this week or next. Uh, if we could arrange that. Well, it depends what sort of accommodation you require, sir. Well, just the best you've got, you know, that sort of thing. Well, are uh, there many people with him, or...? Uh, no, I think there's only going to be two or three, but uh, David will want the best for himself. I've got David with me now, if you could have a quick word with him. I um, mean, he does like to check beforehand. Most certainly, sir. OK, what, what, who's that? It's Simon Davis speaking, sir. Simon, OK. David has had a few, so uh, if you could uh, just uh, bear with him, you know, uh, night before and all that. <laughs> OK, thank Thanks. Dave? Hello there. Thanks very much indeed for your help. Um, you know, just wanted to check out my room before I come in. Uh, is it going to be nice and quiet? Yes, of course, sir. We're situated on Piccadilly. Um, the suites overlook towards Green Park. So one would hope, yes, you sh- you'll, you'll be very quiet. Oh, that sounds very good. Very important, you know, now that I'm 50. <laughs> now, uh, there's a TV in every room. Absolutely, sir. And the suites consist of a, of a bedroom with an adjoining sitting room, and there is a television and a video. Oh, there's a video. Uh, a video machine. I you. wanted a video. You little ones, a little ones, are you? That's good. Now, what about the room? Is it big and nice? Absolutely charming, sir. Very, very traditionally decorated. Plenty of space if you need to use the sitting room for entertaining or have a quiet dinner, or anything you like. And has it got a nice, lovely shag pile carpet? Has it? Yes, sir. Oh, good, good. Now, listen, I'd like the same person to do all of my room service, please, you know. Can you arrange that? Well, we can get... We have floor waiters. Is that what you're looking for, sir? Yes, but just the one person? Well, that might be a little difficult, sir, because they do have to go home, sir. Just the one person, because if you if you get different people, they keep on bothering you all the time, but with one, it's not so bad. Right, sir. Now, what about the room? Is it going to be spotlessly clean? Yes, sir. Pristine condition? Yes, sir. You've hoovered the floor and dusted the ceiling. Absolutely, Mr. Bowie. Now, um, for my video and my TV, can you um, can you get me some films? Yes, sir. Are there any particular things that you'd like to see? Well, you know what I'm saying, films. If you know what I mean, films. Can you get me some films? Absolutely, Mr. Come on, Bowie. use your imagination. Well, if you'd like, like to let me know what you'd like... Well, we'll listen, be... listen, I know you can't say on the phone, so just bung them under the pillow, OK? Is that good? There's a good man. What a professional guy you are. Now, listen, can you get me a hi-fi in my room as well? Absolutely, sir. I want a hi-fi because it's very important. I must listen to the Steve Pink Show. The Steve Pink Show. I must listen to the Steve Pink Show. Right, Mr. Bowser. On 95.8 Capital FM. Right, sir. Is there anything else I can help with, sir? You're a little one, do you? And could you personally fluff up his pillows in the evening, Simon? Well, sir, um, our housekeepers are much more expert than I am, sir. Yeah, but you sound as if uh, as if you are the best, Simon. Well, it's very, very kind of you. No, 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 no. I, I have to speak the truth, Simon. You sound you sound truly professional, and you are the best. Is there anything else I can help with? Sir? Well, just to tell you, Simon, that uh, it isn't David Bowie. It's Steve Pank from 95.8 Capital FM, and you're live on the air right now, Simon. Well, thank you for, for being so <laughs> kind to me. And um, I'm very, very sorry you won't have the opportunity of welcoming Mr. Bowie. <laughs> hey, Simon, you were just great. You were professional right down to the end. Very, very kind, sir. Oh, Simon, yeah. lovely to speak to you. And my, my best to everyone at Capital Radio. Cheers, Simon. Bye-bye. See you, mate. Bye-bye. Hello, could I have reservations, please? Would that be for room reservations? Yes, it would. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, speaking. Hello there, is that, um, are you from the special visits area? Yes. Yes. All right, they put me through. This is uh, Martin Marino from uh, LZ Management in Hollywood. Uh, calling regarding a visit from Sylvester Stallone. Okay. Now, obviously you'll have had celebrities staying with you before, and certain arrangements have to be made beforehand uh, to, to make sure that everything's okay. Mm-hmm. Can you cater for that? Are we giving you enough time here Absolutely. to, uh, that, to that arrange everything? I have Mr. Stallone with me. Would you mind speaking to him? Just for a moment? That's fine. Okay. Great. Sylvester? Yeah, hi, Keith. Hi. Yeah, hi, Sylvester here. You know, I'm, um, Martin was saying I'm over, you know, uh, next week, Wednesday and Thursday. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, basically, what what do you got? We got two days to stay here, so, you know, what, what are you going to do? Uh, what type of suite would be your preference for this day, Mr. Stallone? Hey, well, you, <laughs> you know my favorite, uh, you know, just the best that you got. Okay, the Oliver Messel again? 
Just, just remind me, how big is that? Is that really big? I need a very big room, very grand, lavish. Do you have that? Is that what it is? Quite large, yes. No. It'd, be, it'd be about the largest uh, roof garden that we have. The largest, okay, that's good, that's good. Now, um, you know, this time on this visit over, um, I can't really help it, but I'm going to have my, uh, my dogs with me. And I wondered if I could, uh, you know, if I could have them in the room with me. You know, hope this is no trouble with you, but I want my dogs in the room with me. We don't really allow the dogs. No, well, I know, but you're going you're gonna to do it with me because I'm not everybody else. Now, the other thing is basically that, uh, you know, what I want is to, yeah, you know, uh, do you have one of those? Um... I didn't. I. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch what you. What the last thing that you said. Well, I was saying was, as well as the dogs. You know, that's okay. What I also need is to have one of those gray things and uh, over on the way there. Is that okay? A gray thing that goes all the way along, sir. Oh, man, you know, and more than I thought you said this guy was gay. No, basically, what I'm saying is, do you have in the way and you know the lawn there and the, you know the tortoise and, and, and right by window. Would that be okay? Can you do that for me? Um, Mr. Sloan, I don't, I don't want to um, not be able to do anything for you for your stay. I'm, I'm sure that we can put it all through. Can mm -hmm. I take a contact number since I can just check everything out and call you back? Now, listen, um, during my stay, you know, when I'm over here, you know, um, I'm going to be... Uh, uh, have you heard of Sharon Stone? Yes, I have. Yeah, well, um, she's going to be with me for this stay, but listen, nobody must know about this. This must not get out under any circumstances. Do you understand? Yes, sir. This must not get out under any circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I don't want me to get upset. don't want Sharon to get upset either. So, you know, don't say nothing about, you know, Sharon Stone being here. Whenever you see her, you know, she's just some some woman or anything. And uh, and there's one, you know, basically, and, um, you know, if you can, uh, you know, and then we're in there, great. I understand, sir. And also, I'm um, yeah, I'm busy. You know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's very good. You've been really helpful. You've been really I hope helpful. So. You know, I hope so. that's great. You know, maybe you know, seeing as Rocky's just had his twentieth anniversary, you know, maybe I can bring some gloves. Me and you can have a fight. It's all right, sir. I've act I've actually met you a couple of times when you've been in. Yeah, well, I don't remember. No, it's okay. Yeah, okay, okay. We, we've got a number for you, Keith, and it's uh, 0171 4848958. So, sorry, 48? 48958. And just ask for Steve Peng at Capital FM. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. Keith, what's your second name? Oh, I'm not telling you. <laughs> 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 Keith, you're a star of London now. Hey, thank you. You are just a star of London. <laughs> and Sylvester's just got one more last thing to say to you. And, uh, thank you very much. And thank you, you know, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if he calls again this time, it really is going to be him. So, you know, just be as good as you were before. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.